must join the defense. All right, Helldiver. So we just received a new major order, and with that, a new mission on Meridia. Our mission is to deploy partial payloads of dark fluid across the planet to take out a terminate super colony. This in turn will trigger a total planetary implosion. This is it, Helldivers. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands. Hell yeah, brother. Let's dive in. Become part of an elite peacekeeping force! See exotic new life forms. And spread managed democracy throughout the galaxy. Become a hero. Become a legend. Become a Helldiver. So here we are on Meridia, which pretty much looks like hell as you can see. You can, uh, you can land pretty high up on the uh, terrain as well. Guys, those are ball. So the first thing I notice is that Joel has blessed us with an EMS motor sentry. As for stratagems, I took my own EMS motor for additional stuns as the map is rather condensed. The 500 kg and the expendable anti-tank for bio titans. And lastly, incendiary mines for creating a barrier for smaller targets. Additionally, when you call down the dark fluid vessel, you can actually use this as a jetpack in addition to placing it within the objective colon, which is the tectonic drill. Now, as the tectonic drill is activated, you will need to protect it as it is destructible. One thing I hope they fix, and I'm sure you'll see this in your own matches, is as soon as the drill is activated, bugs will literally breach right next to the OBJ. I suggest bringing stun grenades if you have them. Um, priority. I only have so much fun with it. One stratagem that I would probably steer away from is probably the flamethrower, as there's a lot of bile spewers.
Close the back hole. Close the back hole. So right here was our first Bile Titan. I actually think we got pretty lucky with this run as there weren't as many Bile Titans as I've seen from other players in their missions. Uh, Bile Titans can absolutely ruin the run if they spiel the objective or stomp it out as they cannot be stunned from EMS strikes or motors anymore. And I've seen it where the Bile Titans were coming out of the breach that was right by the objective which would mean that um, it would get destroyed and then you have to restart the drill as well as the fluid. Anybody got a supply so I could get my grenades again? Your flag, A2. Oh, 
Alright, so right here, try not to do what I do here. <laughs> the dark fluid will actually take out a teammate if they're too close to you. Oh, thank you. This line here. Yeah. So stun them. Now here is the fun part. As soon as the deploy dark fluid is complete, there will be endless amounts of shriekers that will spawn until you board the pelican. Now fun fact that I've known since it came out is that if you are prone, shriekers will have a hard time hitting you, which should increase your survivability if there are no other enemy types present. I'm 
nightmare, you bastards. can do it. Now the end screen is definitely bugged as you'll see we completed all objectives, the mission says complete, but no stars awarded. All in all, I had a lot of fun with this mission. I think that it is chaotic but not impossible to complete. My only gripe is going to be with the proximity to which the bug breaches occur literally on top of the objectives that could possibly turn into an endless loop of trying to complete a single objective. And uh, that's going to be it for the video. Let me know in the comments section if you guys uh, like the new mission type, what difficulties you've completed it on, what stratagems that you found useful. If you like the video, hit that like button. It would greatly be appreciated. Consider subscribing if you're new. Thanks again. See you in the next one. And take care, everybody.